We're still standing outside of the, the daycare. 96. These children's lungs would not even have been fully developed yet at their stage in life. And they're, you know, breathing in particles which can actually penetrate um, your cells. Um, and our cells are not built to break down this kind of material. Two hundred and twenty-two. I think that's the highest. Point. Good morning. Hi, You've nice come to, to inspect you. the air of Brentford, have you? We yes, have. We have. Thing around nineteen. With um, three million pound flat up there. Yes, and lovely balconies. 33, it's probably this little tractor, 29, 31, 28, 49 at the bus stop, 28, 45 20 Got 27 along here 23 17 222 I think that's the highest peak that we've had actually 222 why was that probably we just passed a vehicle that was idling on the sort of side of the road 21 um 14 19 A sudden spike on Brentford High Street just now, though, wasn't it? That was really high, and that's one of the, you know one of the reasons why you we're know, trying to encourage people mm. and make people aware that you know, having vehicles sitting on the side of the road idling, you know, is really problematic. Thirty-one, twenty. So now we're getting measurements of around seventeen, twenty-three as we approach the entrance to the day centre. We're still getting levels of around 18, 24, 21. So again, I mean, it's not really a situation where you'd want to have your kids hanging around outside, really. So it's just well, gone up to 94 and we've got a gentleman riding by on his bike um, and you. you can see that, I mean, he's riding around here and you are getting readings, it's now went up to 83. And again, we're still standing outside of the, the daycare. 96, these children's lungs would not even have been fully developed yet at their stage in life and they're, you know, breathing in particles which can actually penetrate um, your cells um, and our cells are not built to break down this kind of material.
and the smaller the particles, the more easier it is for them to be able to penetrate, get into your bloodstreams, get in and penetrate your cell walls. So it really is, you know, a serious concern with regards to, you know, our health. So with Heathrow expansion, there's going to be millions more journeys. Constant traffic, yeah. And it will only get worse. This is a cycle route, as you can see. So you've got bikes kind of yeah. moving down here. Now you've got houses right alongside oh, yeah. here. Alongside, so that's uh, part of their everyday life. So yeah, that's around 22, yeah. 23 here. So those houses are more or less sitting on the Under, limit. Yeah, mm. or 25, exactly. And you've got shops here, restaurants. You've got a hotel over there on the right, another hotel on the right here. What, what it, and now we're coming up to a, To another, so yeah, we've got 52, we've got readings of 52. 52 here? Yeah. Mm. And we're in the vehicle, and I think that that's another thing that people don't realise. They think when they're in their own vehicles, um, which may be contributing to the, to the problem, um, they're not being exposed. But as yeah. you can see here, you know, we're just, we were just sitting in a row of traffic there, and we yeah. hit 52. Now we're at 42, so you can see, you know, we're yeah. not, we're not immune. No, and, and these are all flat. Oh, no, right, they look like we the beach and the right, beach and right. So you've got a large number of people living here, residential. I mean, this is a daily, kind of daily occurrence in terms of their exposure. Yeah, and now we've got a park on the left. The kid with a kid's playground. Right. Yeah, so we've been got 30, 40 taking readings as we're moving along here. Another park on the right. 41, 28, 56. And the traffic is light at the moment. Yes, I mean, it's if we certainly were, not rush hour. If it was 9 o'clock in the morning, it would be completely jam-packed. Well, it's also half-term, so I'm assuming that there's, there's yeah. less vehicles on the road because a lot of people are at home. Now, this is the big roundabout, Chiswick roundabout. Uh, we'll go around it, I'll go around it a couple of times. So don't think I've gone crazy. No, that's absolutely <laughs> fine. Oh, not only that, he's lost. Peaking at 60. About 31 at the moment, 32, struggling to remain below 30, 74, right so we've just pulled alongside the bus and now we've got measurements of 97, so we're parked next to a bus, we've got measurements of, of 139, 116. So literally, just by being parked alongside that bus, we've got measurements of 116. And that could be a cyclist? And that could be a cyclist. Or that could be somebody with a pushchair waiting to cross the road. Or people on the bus? Yeah. Um, and if you put that into context, 116 versus the 20, 25, which are actually the kind of annual times. Oh, well, legal limits. Five times the limit, really. Isn't people stand, we've got pedestrians and standing at these junctions waiting for the lights to change, um, you know, and every second they are really being hit. 12, 34, 49, on 15, 47, 11, 26, 